Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about something that I've been using for well over 10 years now. Uh, it's called SM Exoscope. And what it does is it shows you the waveform in real time. So I like to stick this on the master. And what I also like to do is use it when I'm compressing stuff. This way I can see the effects that I'm having on the, the actual waveform, which is really handy rather than having to bounce stuff all the time. So let's say if we pull the threshold down, no attack, and we start, we put the makeup gain on. And you can see the effect that we're having. The next thing I wanted to talk about was peak and RMS. If we're compressing the snare to try and take the peak away, we should be using peak. RMS is more used for a guitar riff where you wanted to bring the quiet parts up if you could hear like him plucking the guitar really loudly but you couldn't hear the notes too much RMS might be better for that or if he was trying to get a break and he was trying to bring like the shakers that are in the background up a bit more to give the right the break a bit more rhythm um, and get more of the overall sound but peak I always use literally to do what it says on the tin because Ableton are, uh, defaults to RMS I find a lot of tutorials miss the fact that they need to put it on peak uh, what you'll see is they'll pull the threshold down put the makeup gain on and start messing around with the release and maybe leave the ratio alone but the peak is very putting it on peak is very important if you see by RMS it's not really taming much is it bringing the quiet parts up but whereas peak kind of works from the other way around but again this plugin is brilliant because before not very dynamic this just gives you way more control over stuff it's something that I wasn't told I just worked out myself and the release you just adjust to the song how far before it snaps back that's it for today guys i hope you found this useful and i'll see you soon